put the verses on screen. So, basahin natin. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. Amen. Amen. Marami tayong problema ngayon. Di ba? Marami bago lang nag-COVID. And then may gira pa. Mataas ang presyo ng gasolina. What are your worries today? But sabi sa verse na binasa natin, anong gawin natin? We have hope. Let's praise the Lord. We cannot live a life disturbed and worried about many things because our hope is in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, we worship you in this place, O God. And may you be glorified, Lord. Lord, as you see our hearts, our hearts are ready to worship, to give glory and honor to your holy name. We come here, O God, excited and willing, Lord, to receive your word and to be changed by your word. Father, everything that we do, from our worship, from the songs that we sing, Lord, touch the heart of your people. And Lord, touch every heart, representing every family. Comfort us, Lord, that our lives are, our lives are in your hands. And no one, Lord, can snatch us from your hands. Father God, we pray for our country, especially these coming elections. We pray, God, for Ukraine, especially, Lord, the, your people who are suffering there. We pray, Lord, for all over the world that the uh, evil men, wicked men, Lord, will not take control, Father. We know, God, that despite trials and problems, it is you, Jesus, who is in control, Father God. And so, Lord, today we also pray for your word, that your word will strengthen every heart. Lord, Father, Lord, bring, give us uh, confidence, uh, certain hope and confidence in the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we give you all the glory and the honor in Jesus' name. God's people will shout, Amen. Palapakan natin sa Lord. Amen. Let's worship the Lord. Ayan. Let's rejoice in the Lord. Let's sing our praises to Him joyfully. Amen. Come on, let's get ready ourselves. Everybody clap your hands. Karunang atlaw sa Diyos Karunang atlaw 
sa Diyos Karoon ang adlaw sa pagdayig o pagsimba Hibayaw ang atong kamot Mulokso! Mulokso! Musayaw! Musikip o magugyaw Palaan talay ko nga Diyos
last time. Let's declare this to the Lord that we are sure. We are sure of His love. Blessed assurance Jesus is blessed assurance, right? Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we banner you in this place, oh God. This is our story. This is our song. We are here right now to worship you. We are here right now to praise you, oh God, day after day until forever. We will praise you, oh God, and we thank you for that blessed assurance, Lord. We thank you that we always have hope in you in the name of Jesus, oh God. A wonderful Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, despite of the troubles, despite of the trials that we have right now, we are always assured in you. We always know that we have you, oh God. We may not see your hands moving at times, but we know your heart for us. We know that your heart is always good for us. We know that your purpose is always good for us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we refresh ourselves this afternoon, let it be, oh God, that our hearts will be a fertile ground. And let it be, oh God, that you will speak to us mightily today. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, O oh God. We banner you with this place. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Palapakan natin ang ginoo. Sige. Pwede na tamo. Lingkod. Awesome, God. No, awesome praise and worship. Glory to God to our powers. Indeed, power. No, good job, guys. And of course, uh, before I formally start, I would like to welcome. Yung mga first-timers natin, pwede bang kawai-kawai tayo? May mga new friends ba tayo ngayon? Ayun! Okay. So good job that you're here. Okay, we're so happy that you're here. Again, our Sunday will never be complete without you guys. So welcome, welcome. Sit back and relax. Okay. So on behalf of Bishop Joel and Pastor Julnes, we welcome everyone. And of course, yung mga pamilya natin dito, pakitapik uh, naman. We're so happy that you are here again. Yung sa mga nth timers natin dito. Good job, everyone. Okay, so if you were to be honest today, who among of you or how many ang muingon diri nga, I have been in a circumstance this past few weeks. No matter na kong problema this past few months, or I have suffered, I have battled with um, a lot of worries this past few weeks, this past few days. Meron tama, no? Kung talagang itatas yun lang yung mga kamay niyo, kung talagang mag uh, magihiyawan lang kayo ako yon. Okay? I have been in a circumstance this past few days. I have been so busy. I have been so tired. I have been so worried this past few days. More than the COVID-19, more than the the war between Russia and Ukraine. There are a lot of things personally that are happening in me. Are you with me? Tama? Ang dami talaga. That's why, let us have our key verse this afternoon. Let us start immediately with Psalms 40 to 5. Ayun. And uh, this is so timely. Why? Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God, uh, and then my God. Notice downcast. Notice the disturbed. 
I know, no, hindi lang ito na sa verse, but it is so real sa ato ang mga kinabuhi karon. Amen, huba. I believe that uh, nowadays, even today, ang dami dito, madami tayo mga setbacks, madami tayo mga problema. No, to the point where in some of us, if not many, if not all, we succumbed into lowliness. Na muragwa naman ni pag-asa ni kinabuhi nga ni. No, murag, wala naman ko'y um, pag-asa nga, nga maging maayo ng kinabuhi na ako. We succumb to a lot of negativities and even hopelessness. Wa na yun pag-asa. Single na yun ko habang buhay. Wa na yun pag-asa. Wa na may makagusto sa ako. Ah. Are you with me? No, it may not be love life. It may not be finances. But I know, no, there, there is always be a facet in your life wherein makarelate yun mo. No, nga may mga times kid, may mga panahon nga Lord, I'm so perplexed, I'm so confused. Naa pa ba ka sa akong kinabuhi? May power ka pa ba sa akong kinabuhi bilang isa ka Kristiano? Are you with me? But this is this is one great verse because ano sabi dito, though he is downcast, though may problema siya, though he is disturbed, but he is battling within himself. This is this is a scenario wherein there is an argument within himself. Tama ba? No, kung sa literature pa mi, this is a war against himself. Di ba mi, no? A conflict within himself. No, ing ana sa literature, not just with other people, but even, no, most of the time, ang problema ang atong sarili. Ang kaaway na ato, ato ang sarili. Are you with me? No, and I believe this is the sermon, this is the preaching that we have to be preaching to ourselves day after day. Kasi hindi naman perfecto yung buhay natin. May mga pagkakataon talaga na nasa down points tayo. May mga pagkakataon ta- talaga na hindi, hindi tayo masaya. May mga pagkakataon talaga na wala tayong pera. May pagkakataon talaga na ang tagal pa ng sweldo. Okay? Are you with me? That's why this is the preaching. This is the battle that we have to be diligent. We have to be forceful every day. That no. Though I am disturbed right now, this is the reality, this is the fact na may mga problema ako ngayon. But the truth is, I have a great God. Amen, Huba? That the truth is, I have to put my hope in God. Amen, Huba? That's why the title of this afternoon's preaching is, Hope in God. Okay? As simple as that. No, let us put our hope in God. So when we talk about hope, hope is... Um, an emotional reservoir, or this is uh, this is like a reservoir, no, a supply, no, wherein we we who got we gain our emotional strength, no, that is hope. It is like a reservoir wherein um, it gives us emotional strength. For example, if we are put down by other people, we have to look for that emotional reservoir of hope to give us strength. And still think and have faith in the good of other people instead of, of, of wallowing into self-pity, instead of wallowing into indifference and bitterness. No? Are you with me? So that this is, this is a kind of reservoir wherein um, if you are planning for something, you are so stressed, you even get sick, no nagkasakit ka, and things uh, didn't go well things didn't go according to your plans, to what you have expected, you would look for this hope as your emotional strength because this is a reservoir and you will tell the next day, okay, I can do it. I can change the plan. I, I, I can get wisdom from the Lord and I know this time with my plan B, C, D, E, F, until Z, I can get it, right? I can, I can gain favor from my bosses, from my clients and I'll do it. I will be nailing it. Are you with me? Pulakpakan natin ng Panginoon. That is the power of hope. Amen, Huba. And what is hope again? Commonly, we define hope as the desire for something good in the future. This is a wish, right? Ing anak yun ang hope, no? I hope that someday, no? Magka-crush po siya sa ako, ah. I hope that someday, maibali niya din yung pagtingin niya sa akin. I hope. Okay, this is uh, desiring for something good in the future, that something good in the future will happen. That's hope, right? So ordinarily, when we use the term hope, we're in uh, relative to, to wish, it's out of uncertainty. 
Hindi natin alam kung may mangyayari ba talaga ito or hindi. Rather than having that certainty, or uh, um, rather than having that um, that that certainty anchored, right? No, hindi natin alam mahitabu ba ni or dili. Okay. However, biblical hope is not just a desire for something good in the future, but instead, it is a confident expectation. Surbol yod nga mahitabo. No, that is our hope in the Lord. Surbol yod ni nga mubalik si Lord in the future. Amen. It's it's a blessed assurance. When we say assured, it means without any doubt. That's assured. Diba? Wag yod. Wag yod pag duwa-duwa. Amen ho ba? No? So this is a confident expectation for something good in the future. Amen? So again, this is not just a desire. Nga mahita bo tani ni or what? But you are expecting that it will happen. A hundred percent, I know it will happen. It is my confidence in the Lord that He will come back again. I am confident that I am saved in the Lord. I am confident that that this church will stay till forever. Amen, ba? Amen. Tanawang imong katapat karon because you will be together in heaven as well. Amen. No, kung sa ilunggo pagani ni, dili ni tani. No, tani. No, tani. May amu mang kusina. Tani, shapud. Tani, ako pud. Okay. Pero, sa ilong go amu gini ang gid. Gid, gid ni. Diba? Kaon ka gid. <laughs> no? Gid, gid ni. No? Dili lang ni Tani. Amen ho ba? We are not just crossing our fingers here, but we are indeed certain that it will happen. Amen ho ba? Okay, now, let me have this. When we speak of our future, we do not speak in the ordinary terms of hope. Okay? We speak in terms of confidence, that kind of boldness, nga confident yun ka, and certainty because of the character of God. Unsa bang atong ginoo? God is infallible, right? He never goes wrong and He will never be in wrong. If He says so, it will happen so. If He says so, it will surely happen. Ingana nga to ang ginoo, dili siya tikalon. Amen? Ang ilunggot, pwede pa maging tikalon, pero ang ginoo, dili, yun. Infallible, yun siya. Error free. That's our God. That's why our hope is always certain. That's why we could always anchor with boldness and confidence with our hope in the Lord because that is our God. He is infallible. Hindi siya pwede magkamali. Hindi siya nagkakamali. Amen ho ba? Amen. Let us have Joshua 21.45. Sige. I hope I, I'm not chasing horses. Okay, medyo tama lang yung pacing natin. In Joshua 21.45, sabi dito, Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Needed kayo, you know, what a blessed assurance. What a certain hope in the Lord. Every one was fulfilled. Kung si Lord na gani mo ingon, muhitabog yun na. Amen? No? Dili ta magsalig sa kandidato kung magingon sila mo na no may may dako pa nga prosyento nga dili na mahitabo okay just kidding this is not a political avenue okay another in in Romans 4:18 to 21 okay let's have this let us have uh, a glimpse of Abraham's hope and faith in the Lord basahin natin to against all hope Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations. A father of faith. Just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. Without weakening in his faith. Diba? Wag yun, nagapalya ang faith ni Abraham. No? As we can see, no? the, the, the interdependence of hope and faith. Amen ba? No, we could not say that we have faith in the Lord. We could not say that we are here because we have faith in the Lord and you're not hoping in the Lord. No, we could not say so. Okay? He faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about 100 years old and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Yet he did not waver. No, he did not waver. No, he did not waver. Magulan man, he did not waver. Okay, my problema man, he did not waver. 
Di ba? May mag, may mag uh, chismis man sa iya, ha? He did not waver. May mag bi man sa iya, He did not waver. Amen? Nindot kayo. It's an inspiration. Okay. Where are we? But was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God. Being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. Amen? Palakpakan nato ang ginoo. Okay? This is truly a blessed assurance. We Christians must always be persuaded that this is our God. We, we have to be always persuaded. Dapat kumbinsido yun ta. Dapat confident yun ta. Nga ang atong ginoo, wa gapal ya. Ang atong ginoo, He is always true to His word. He is always true with our faith. Are you with me? Palakpakan nato ang ginoo. Do not miss this chance to praise the Lord. Amen. No? So Christian hope is rooted in faith in the divine salvation in Christ. Amen? It is the future hope of the resurrection of the dead. It is the future hope of the redemption of our body, glorified body. No, I'm not confident that I'm not problem if I'm going to or dili pa. <laughs> glorified body and of the whole creation. What is Christian hope? It is the future hope of our eternal life, our inheritance as saints. No? Dili santo to mga nakatindog sa ibang simbahan. We are saints. Amen ho ba? No? Hope is the future hope of the return of Christ. Let me ask you, are you still excited? Do you still have that bold confidence that one day God will be returning and everyone will have that such a wonderful, awesome reunion? Diba? On the air, in the air. <laughs> Put your hands in the air. <laughs> okay? No? Yun, that is one great confidence that we have in the Lord. Amen, Huba. And what is more about this Christian hope? No? Hope is Christ Himself. We could not say that we live in Christ, but we are hopeless. We can't do that. Because Christ himself is our hope. Amen ba? And this is a timely reminder for this coming election because for the past few days, past few weeks, I've heard a lot that even our leaders are involved into the, the argument, into the war of politics. No na nangyayari ngayon. Diba? If you are going to um, to browse over the social media, ang dami, ang dami mga uh, black propaganda, ang dami mga dirty mud slinging na nangyayari ngayon. But let me tell you this. Let us not put our hope in a candidate. Okay? Instead, put our hope in God that He will appoint the right candidate in the position. Amen? That's our hope as Christians. So walay taga CCFI ang mga away sa social media. Nga dapat pink ko, nga dapat red ko, nga dapat puti ko, nga dapat blue ko. Are you with me? That is not our nature. What happened to your gentleness? What happened to your self-control? What happened to your to your faithfulness? Are you with me? No, dilita di mga war freak just because of a candidate. But we kneel down and tell the Lord, Lord, this is our hope in you. That you are going to appropriate and appoint the right candidate for this nation, Philippines. Amen? Palakpakan natin ang ginoo. So walay relasyon nga mga guba tungod lang sa kandidato. Okay? Walay friendship, walay marriage nga mga guba tungod lang ng kandidatuhan nga ni. Amen, huba? Okay, now, let's continue. So what is the power of this hope? What is the benefit of having this hope in the Lord? Number one, hope in God gives us unwavering joy. Amen? No, tanan bing, ara dere, I believe you put your hope in the Lord, spag smile daw be. Okay, unwavering smile. Amen? And muna nga biskain, pag appoint ni mami sa amua, do dili pagit, do dili kaya ga alangan, smile ga pon me, sure. Me, let me share with you the, the conversation that we had. Um, uh, mommy, get remind ko ni mommy nga ako na this Sunday. Me, <laughs> reply po si mommy nga, don! <laughs> so katawa na lang. Okay. <laughs> Unwavering joy. Okay. So I would like you to remember the story of David when he arrived at Ziklag. 
right? Uh, at that point, no, itong pag-abot nila sa Ziklag, nakita ni David, every house has been burnt down. Nasunog tanan. No, wa na po sila mag abdan kay nga naman. Tanan nga mga asawa nila, mga bata nila have been abducted and kidnapped by the Amalekites. And what happened? Tanawa na to sa 1 Samuel 36. Okay? Ingo ni David dere, no? David was greatly distressed. Ikaw daw be. No, pag abot mo sa balay, wa na imong balay kay nasunog naman. No? Or pag abot mo sa balay, wa na imong misis. Okay, asa naman to ni Adto? Asa naman to ni Tulog? Okay? Or pag abot ni mo sa opisina, wa ka nay work tungod sa COVID. Okay? Or pag open ni mo sa imong bitaka, wa naman. Asa naman to ni Adto? Okay? Right? So that that would be our Ziklag at times. He has been so distressed because the men were talking of stoning him. No? Down na gani siya. No, distress na gani siya. Naapagid ni mga warriors niya. Nga batuhon siya. Sa lagyot ni mo ni. Okay? No, minsan, anak po, no? Anak po ang, uh, ang mga tao sa palibot nato. nato. Nga nawa mo mong yud, giayo imong trabaho. Walang tawa. Pag COVID, ikaw yud, una gitanggal. Sa lagyot mo yud ni. Okay? Diba, yung nga na mantakisa, no? May mga tao yud, yung nga na. Each one was bitter in spirit. See? If we don't have hope in the Lord, maging bitter yud ta, no? No, kung wala lang gani na hitabo tong aton nga ginapangayo which, which is worldly which has no uh, eternal value magsar grape da yon ta kay Lord Lord ag serve ko sa imo for how many years ganung wa pa man siya no diba minsan ganyan tayo bitter in spirit we don't have hope in the Lord because of his sons and daughters but this was a wrestling that I was talking about a while ago okay but David found strength in the Lord his God he may be downcast at that moment. He may be distressed at that moment. He may be, what, daming problema at that moment. Pero anong, anong sinabi ni David? No, I have to gain strength again in the Lord. Because I, ho- I put my hope in the Lord. Amen, Huba. Sana ganyan din tayo. Palakpakan natin ang gino. No? And let us be more reminded in 2 Corinthians 4, 8-9. Ang mupod niya ang isa sa mga verses nga gusto nako na balik-balikan. No, let's refresh our ourselves with this. We are pressed down on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. Diba? Sa tinabudamo, sa mga problema, tanawa, imong kaugalingon sa salamin. Gwapo gihapon, tambok gihapon, wa lang man nagniwang, biskan gigutom. Right? No, we may be, diba? Ano, ano sabi dito? We may be pressed in every troubles, but we are not crushed. Di ba? Makatindog mang yapon. Makahambal mang yapon. Makaginhawa mang yapon. Okay? Ko nag-niabot man ng COVID, but look at us right now. We can still breathe. Okay? Tanawang atong bishop. No? He is still with us. Praise the Lord. Okay? No, why COVID? Makapugong sa atua. Okay? We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. Amen? Kisa confused man kita, pero pila lang, five minutes, one minute, hindi, may ginoo ko. Okay? So we should not be so up into the spirit, hilak-hilak gid, pila ka simana, hilak-hilak gid, gapon, na kailangan itom-itom gid, ipakita sa tanan, na you are in despair. No. Okay? That is not a behavior of a Christian. We are hunted down, ang mga ginoo yung pinakaganahan ako, but never abandoned by God. God will never leave us nor forsake us, even despite our unfaithfulness, He is always gracious to save us. Amen ba? Palakpakan na ito atong buhi nga ginoo. No, nindot ka ayaw marimay ng atong mga kaugalingon with these truths. No? We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Amen? In Isaiah 40, 31, di ba? Our hope in the Lord will renew our strength. Muragwa lang may nahitabo. No, you know what? It is always my prayer in the evening. No, di ba? Mga katrabaho dere. No, kapoy ka ayo ang ang ano di ba? Ang aton nga likod, ang aton nga abaga. No, kapoy ka ayo. But you know what? My very prayer is that Lord renew my strength for tomorrow. Give me good rest tonight. Bis kan four hours lang na Lord. No, renew my strength. It's as if I have slept for seven, even eight hours. Amen, ba? No, it's just so magical. 
Diba? Powerful how God answer prayers. Nga wala, wala lang na itabot tomorrow. Pag apot sa opisina, wala, wala na itabot. Kumusta? Good morning. Okay? Still shining as the light and salt of the earth. Amen, Huba. Remember this. Our breaking is for our breakthrough. Always remember that. God allows brokenness for a purpose. To allow us to grow in character. To allow us even to improve in our competence. Anak mang ang competence. Anak mang ang skill nato. So ang pisabud lai mang yud na. Na mo ganina nga may maginatawag tanga conscious incompetence. As tanga mahimu na ng unco- uh, conscious competence. As tanga mahimu na ng unconscious competence. Murag natural na lang sa imuha. Muna ginaalaw ni Lord na mga problema nga na, na mga trials nga na, na mga struggles nga na, to upskill you with your soft skills, for you to become a better leader, for you to become a better mother, for you to become a better father, for you to become a better colleague, a better friend, a better boss. Are you with me? A better Christian. There's always a purpose in our breaking. Welcome it. It's for our breakthrough. And sasabihin mo lang, ay, amudi ay, ah, kaya pala. Okay? You know what? That was my, my, my very word. No, for seven months, praise God for this church who encouraged me. Tong time nga wakoy trabaho for seven months. And then I have to feed my two kids. No, kagang akong asawa. No, nga dilin ako makabakas sa yang eyeliner. <laughs> no? But when I was employed in uh, the company that I, that I am in right now, no, brag, ay, amudi ay, Lord. Ay, amudi ay. That's why you allowed this. Amen? And you will have that, that, that uh, uh, situation soon. No, just to welcome. Just to welcome the trials. Just to welcome the struggle. And you will end up better soon. Amen? Just don't forget. Put your hope in the Lord. And it will give you peace. And it will give you unwavering joy. Amen ba? I believe that is the very reason. Nga si Kuya Bons, joy gina yang gipangita. O si Kuya Boy, joy yud. No? Kuya Boy, no? Okay. No? Let us have this Jeremiah 15, 16. How do we keep our joy in the Lord? Your words were found and I ate them. And your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord, God of hosts. Amen ba? Sino ba diri ang thankful, grateful, no, kay tungod, nagadivota. That is one of the disciplines that this church is encouraging us to do. Because without it, because without God's word, we could not maintain that joy. We could not keep without putting our hope in the Lord. Are you with me? So we Christians, we CCFI, we disciples of God, as we continue to eat God's word every day in our daily devotional, stop and enough with that disheartened, negative, frustrated words. Amen, Uba. We are not destined for, for those um, circumstances. Amen. Stop the negative, frustrated, defeated emotions. Undangan na nato na. Amen, Uba. And I included here, no, asaba kung mga. Uh, P12. I believe this is the very reason nga nung, I hope di ko nila, pag, di ko nila kusiyon after this preaching. I believe this is the very reason nga nung si Nay Mutya, si Ate Emily, o si Mama Inday, no, they are always at peace. There's all, they are always joyful. Maskan, asta ka nun wak pa gihapon. No, wak pa siya. Asta subong. Though, no, some of them are late 30s. Even late 40s, pero wagin sila gadali. Kung sa ilunggo pa, wagin sila gikatlan, biskan sino-sino na lang. Kaya nga naman, they are putting their hope in the Lord. Amen, no ba? They want to keep on establishing their principles that it should be a man of God. O dili lang, biskan sino-sino dira. Because they are so hopeful in the Lord that it has a purpose. And one day, tani, no, hope. <laughs> one day, no mo 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 adto mo adto ba tama mo adto okay mo adto na siya okay may dala nga roses chocolates bears etc amen okay amen na imot tms mainday amen okay and you know what this is also one of um the lessons gaginhatag po sa ako ani lord uh for the uh, tawag nito parang 
consecutive na three encounters, wa ko may nadala. Ang among network, wa agad may nadala. And um, permit ko gaano kay, kay Toro with my sad face, no despair. <laughs> no? Nga Toro, wala na po kami sa buong ba? No? Nga marag, ang saan mo ni Toro? Uy, okay na. No? And my, my discipler would just tell me, no, nga padayon lang. Continue to have hope in the potentials of your disciples. Okay? Amen ba? And that is what I'm trying to, 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 to have right now. Ingana nga behavior. Okay, tapod, leaders. Doing the ministry should not be a burden. Because some of our disciples, their pacing may be slow, but at least they are moving forward. Some of them, they are fast in their pacing. Pero bantay ba tayo po? Basi mo. Okay? So in this ministry, it has to be enjoyed. It has to be done with joy, unwavering joy. No, every time you go to the LJ, you are so happy that your disciples are there. The very point nga naa sila kompleto, that's a great joy. No, hindi ka mangitang, ano, waka pa man, pilalain mo, pilamanin mo. Okay? We've learned from that. Okay? But we continue to put our hope in our disciples. They are there for a reason. Tiga po na sila ulo karon for a reason. God is also molding you. Amen ba? That's why I thank God for discipleship. Okay, lak man tayo. Amen? No, inga na, yun. Continue to put your hope in your disciples. They've got great potentials. And one day, no more kada na sila, no ara ka lang sa likod, and you'll just be cheering for them. Okay, that's my guy. Amen? Amen. You know what? Before ta mag, magilika na idere. A new study found uh, that people, may mga tao nga, they have this um, superhero imagery in their mind. And it was found out na tatong mga tao nga, they have this superhero imagery in their mind are happy people. These are people wherein they are even willing to accept tedious tasks. Kasi mga budlay pa na ang mga trabaho. And these are the people nga may dako nga tendency to help other people. And that should how we behave, Christians. Because who, who is our hero? It's Jesus. O sa itong kanta, Jesus, you're my superhero. Pero mas nindot kayo sa kukring-kring magkantaan eh. <laughs> no, Jesus is my superhero. Amen? Jesus is our superhero. We always have that image ingrained in our minds. Right? And our Jesus is better than Spider-Man. He never runs out of web, right? He is even better than Superman. No kryptonite could weaken our Jesus Christ. Amen, Uba? No, he is better than Thor. Okay, that Thor could, ha, that Thor has to summon lightning to defeat all the enemies. But Jesus, no. Simply with his words, with his very presence, enemies flee. Amen, prapakanata tong gino. He is our superhero. That's why we Christians who are having hope in the Lord will keep smiling because our joy is unwavering. Amen, Uba. Second point. Hope in God assures us of our destiny. Amen? No, it assures us of our destiny that one day, Lord, we are heaven bound. Amen? In 2 Kings 6, 16 to 17, let's have this. Let's have the story of Elisha. Here, don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Elisha answered to his servant. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Amen? And Elisha prayed, open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes. And he looked and saw the hills. Siguro pag pag saw niya, ingani di ay! Greater are those with us. No, ingana siguro to pag, pag open sang eyes sang, sang servant and saw the hills full of horses in chariots of fire all around Elisha. Amen. There are times wherein it may seem that we are surrounded by failures, it may seem that we are surrounded by problems, it may seem that we are surrounded by. by by so many uh, setbacks in life, so many worries in life, ang dami, no? It seems that you are drowning. No, dumalumos ka na sa problema. 
But remember that we are surrounded by the presence of Jesus. It may seem that we are surrounded by, no, by poverty. But the truth is, we are surrounded by Jesus' provision. It may seem that we may be surrounded with sickness. Murag, karon masakit si, 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 si child A, si child B na po. It may seem that we are surrounded by sickness. But always remember that we are surrounded by God's healing. Amen, Uba. That's our faith and hope in the Lord. It may seem that we are so surrounded with a lot of troubles in this world. But we are surrounded of Jesus. Amen. Palakpakan nato ang ginoo. And what I love about this story, about the story of Elisha and the servant, it's good to be surrounded with people who could encourage you, with people who could inspire you, with people who could help you. That is why I am always grateful with the discipleship that we are following in this church. Amen ba? No, kung tapad mo karon imong pastor, imong discipler, pasalamat po. Kuya, thank you for surrounding me with your love throughout these years. Thank you for surrounding me with your rebuke throughout these years. It's great to be surrounded with such awesome people. Amen? And that is the beauty of discipleship. This is what this church is all about. I have proven that so many times. No? You can contact me at... <laughs> no? You can ask a lot of leaders here. No? This church has been in thick and thin, but still here we are. Standing firm in our hope in the Lord, standing firm in our faith, and standing firm in our vision and mission. Amen, Huba? What is our mission? <laughs> Amen. That's up to yun. Love God and love people. We are souls and make disciples. Amen. Okay. It's such a great thing to be surrounded with such awesome people. No? Let, and let us be reminded Sa isa sa mga paborito nato ng mga verses. In Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. And this time, let's own it. Let's change the pronouns. No, Instead of saying you, have it me. Amen? In Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans... God has for me, amen, plans to prosper me and not to harm me, plans to give me hope and a future. This is my destiny in the Lord. I am heaven bound, amen. So with all the zeal, let us be certain with this blessed assurance. Keep your hope hot, amen. And number three, don't worry, this is the last point. Hope in God engages us to pursue our mission. And while uh, reading the verse, may I request uh, Pastor uh, Lirian to join me here. In Romans 8.18, For I consider the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. Are you excited? And this is what is more amazing. Romans 8.37 But in all these troubles, in all these trials, don't get overwhelmed, guys. Why? Because we are more than conquerors through Jesus who loved us. Amen. Palakpakan nato ang ginoo. It is always overwhelming to be secured with that victory in the Lord. And before na ko i-ask Lirian yung mukanta, you know what? There's another study uh, Gilearn nila kaning um, learned helplessness sang mga, sa mga rat, sang mga giting. Giting na si Ilonggo sa Bisaya, unsa ganang giting, unsa ganang rat, unsa ganang mouse. Daga, daga, gapon me. Tag, magsagalog mo namin yung daga. Daga pa din, elaga. Okay. No, kanang mga giting, itong una, maginbutang ang giting sa baso or sa sa container. No, Una-una, tauhay pa lang iyang paglangoy. Then such time, murag struggling na siya, struggling. Or let us say, for five minutes, struggling na siya. So ang doctor, gikwa niya na pod, ang ilaga, ibalik niya sa dry niya container, and then, gitrapuhan, gipakaon, nagimasimas, para makondition liwat. And then, gibalik niya na pod sa tubig. No? For, after, this time, longer na ang ilaga. Di ilang five minutes, nga naglangoy-langoy, nag-enjoy-enjoy. Ten minutes, nakabot og ten minutes this time. 
No, after, after 10 minutes, ito na po siya nag-struggle-struggle. Sige, kuha na po siya sa doktor. No, gipahuway na po kadali. Gihimas-himas na po. Gitrapuhan. Gipakaon. No? Giputang na po. This time, ni about 30 minutes, an hour. No, even more than an hour. No? And let us learn from ilaga. Okay? There are times where in ingana ta, it seems that we are struggling with, with problems in life. It seems that, Lord, murag din naman kaya na ako ng mission nga ni. Murag budlay naman ng vision nga ni. Murag, murag budlay naman mag-spread of love, spread of faith, spread of hope sa ibang nga tao. Kaya ako put mismo, Lord. I'm struggling. Ako put mismo, Lord. Busy ko. Ako put mismo, Lord. Ginakapoy ko. But knowing in our private times that there is a hand willing to rescue us, it's just so powerful that the next day, Murag press na itong ilaga nga, Allah, grabe nga, nakaya naman ako ni. Murag dugay naman ko kikapoy ron. Murag, I'm so inspired, I'm so encouraged to continue with the vision. To continue spreading that hope in the world. Amen ba? And let us also be reminded with this song. Lear? Yeah. 
Aking Agino. And let me end with a statement. Jesus is our hope. And as we have our hope in Him, we are bound to proclaim that hope to the world. May I ask everyone to please stand up. Let's close our eyes. Our life may be broken right now. Your life may be broken right now. But remind yourself who our God is. Remind yourself the character of our God. Remind yourself that our God is faithful. Remind yourself that our God is God of gods. Remind yourself that our God is the King of kings. Remind yourself that our God is our peace. Remind yourself that our God is our joy. Remind yourself that our God is infallible. He never gets wrong with His promises. He never gets wrong with His word. His word is always true. You may be experiencing a lot of brokenness right now, but tell the Lord right now, Lord, I need your healing. Increase, increase the hope that I have in me, O oh God. Remind me all the time, Lord, when there is struggle, when I'm surrounded with problems, when I'm surrounded with worries, Lord. Remind me, oh God, that I am surrounded by your presence. And I will fight this battle with praise. I will fight this battle with worship, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God. When I'm worried, the more that I will shout with praise. When I have problems, the more that I will shout with worship. When I have problems, Lord, when I am struggling, the more that I will shout my prayer unto you. You are my God, oh God. Surround me with your presence, Lord. And I am grateful, oh God, for the people that you have surrounded me with. Thank you for my pastors. Thank you for my cell leaders, oh God. A Sigig reminds sa ako ah, that life in the Lord is never hopeless. That this world is not our end. That we are heaven bound, oh God. That is our destiny. Lord, I pray, renew the hope of everyone present here right now. Renew their hope, Lord. Renew the mindset of a conqueror. Renew the mindset of a victor, O oh God. We've got victory in you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. This is not the time to be wallowing, to succumbed in despair. This is not the time to be succumbed in our struggles, O oh God. This is not the time to build the Lord sa amo mga problema. But this is the time, O oh God, to get up. Get engaged with our mission. As hopeful people, O oh God, as people of hope, we are so engaged to pursue our mission. This is the time, O oh God, that we will get up. Because we are victors. We are more than conquerors, O oh God. This is the time as we have this hope in you. This is the time where in the flow of worship will be raging in our veins. That the flow of worship will be raging in our bones. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, we are saying enough. We are saying stop to negative emotions. We are saying enough to defeated emotions, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Give us the strength to come back from our setback, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give us the strength to engage in your presence every day. Remind us with your word in our devotional every day, oh God. Remind us today, Lord, that we are more than this. That we have to be engaged in our mission, oh God, in the name of Jesus. A lot of people out there are hopeless. A lot of people out there are loveless. A lot of people are uh, out there, oh God, are faithless. A lot of people out there, Lord, need our help, oh God. And we Christians, we as your disciples, we don't give time to hopelessness. 
We don't give time to defeated emotions, Lord, because the world needs us, oh God. Those hopeless people need us, Lord. Our hope is in you. And we are committed to spread that hope, Lord, to the world in the name of Jesus, oh God. Tell yourself right now, remind yourself right now that you have to praise, you have to worship, you have to praise and praise and praise Jesus despite of your problems. That you have to give time to the Lord, engage in His presence despite of your business. That you have to get back despite of tiredness. Rise above your struggles. God is telling you right now that you can rise above your struggles. You are more than a conqueror. Put your hope in me and I'll give you strength. I'll give you joy. I'll reassure you of your destiny. And you'll get engaged, overflowing with commitment, overflowing with encouragement, overflowing with power to pursue your mission, to love God and love people in the name of Jesus, oh God. That this Jensen is for Jesus. That South Patabato is for Jesus. That Philippines is for Jesus. We Christians, we are more than conquerors. We are victors. We continue to put our hope in the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We praise you, O oh God. We praise you, Lord. Praise you more and more. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. We will never run out of hope because we have you. We put our hope in you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And all hopeful people will shout, Amen and Amen. Praise God for renewing our hope this afternoon. God bless you. God bless us. Okay, yeah, to our first timers. Okay, ang yung mga new friends natin. Pwede po bang tumayo? Okay, woo! We are indeed hopeful that one day, we will be united in heaven. Okay, ayan. Praise God. Palapakan natin. No, we're so overwhelmed with such joy having you here right now. Okay. As I've said a while ago, this hope, kaning pag-asa na naata sa ginoo, it has to be coupled with our faith. And let us have that faith. Let us start that journey of faith right now having Jesus personally in our lives. And it is as easy as having this prayer. Are you ready? Okay? Are you ready to keep that hope raging in your veins and bones? Just follow me in this prayer. Leaders, follow me in this prayer. Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that my life is hopeless without you. I acknowledge that I am a sinner and I need you. I need you in my life. I need you, Lord, to have hope in my life. That's why today I am committed, I declare to receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. And starting today, Jesus Christ will be the center and the focus of my life. I love you, Lord. Thank you for reminding me that my hope is only found, should be only anchored in you. I love you, oh God. Thank you for bringing me in this place today. I love you, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. Palakpakan natin yung mga first timers natin, new friends, and we'll be more joyful to have you again next Sunday. Madamo git nga salamat. Good afternoon, church. What time is it? By the way, I'm Marielle. I'm one of the leaders of this church. And my life group leader is Tiate Jona May Young, Tolog from Las Passionistas. So our key verse is found in Genesis 28:15 in ESV version. God said. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go 
and will bring you back into this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. So this verse is, uh, this verse spoke to me in many wonderful ways. So in year 2020 was by far the most challenging year. I believe not just for me, but to everyone. Before the pandemic started on February 2020, my father passed away. Left me the responsibility of being the, the breadwinner in the family. So that time, I was just 20 years old, a fresh graduate from MSU, and by God's grace alone, was hired three days before our graduation. A month before the incident, God's, God promoted me to work and had the opportunity to work with the mismo owner of the company. So fast forward, my father died, and lately lang ako na realized na why God allowed me na to work with my boss, so so that he can use her and her connections to help me pay off the funeral and hospital bills. But that doesn't just end there. The same year, my six-year-old brother was admitted to dengue. My mother was diagnosed to, um, with pneumonia, and the rest were financial struggles. Yud. As in, sunod-sunod yun mga circumstances. But the Lord comforted me and reminded me of His promise that He will never leave me and that He will be with me wherever I go. Sa mga highs and lows, both hills and valleys. And that reminder gave me peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Then the Lord gave us our breakthroughs. Sicknesses were all healed. Bills were again paid off. And needs were faithfully provided even up to this day. My sister, who is in college right now, had a scholarship grant from DOH. Last year, I got salary increased. This February lang, I was given another field of work. And recently lang yun, I was promoted and ang grabbing trust sa company kay Dili Mabayran. My accommodation were even provided pati corriente, tubig, gasol, aircon, and my travel allowances pa. Looking back, I saw how faithful and kanang sowing with the Lord was all worth it. He really orchestrated everything. Now I realize that those painful moments that I had was, uh, were really necessary. I saw how my Abba Father carried me through, and He constantly reminds me that He is the perfect Father who is more than able to faithfully sustain me and my family with enough and more than enough provisions. Ikaw, sunod-sunod po ba mo mga struggles? Gipit ka, be faithful still in giving. Let go and let God take care of you. Remember, He said, I will not leave you until I have done what I've promised you. So come on, let's stand up. Let's raise our tithe and offering. And come on, let's pray. Abba, Father, we are beyond grateful that you are always hands-on and at work in our lives. We love that you are shaping us in Christ's likeness. Thank you for sustaining us always with your faithfulness, grace, and mercy. Let these tithe and offerings be a sign of our obedience and dependence to you. Bless this, Lord, and use this for the advancement of your kingdom, building our own church facility. May you teach us every moment to bend and tune our hearts into your will. We give out of joyful and willing hearts, Lord. We let go and let you take over. All the glory and honor be yours alone forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Good day, everyone, and welcome to Christian Church Fellowship International. Welcome especially to our new friends today. Stay tuned for our announcements. Our Sunday service celebration is every 2 p.m. here at the Word for Everyone Ministries and the recorded service will be posted in our YouTube channel in the evening on the same day. We are inviting our new friends to join one of our life groups and start up your new life with Jesus. You can ask the person who invited you for more details. To our parents out there, we encourage you to permit your kids to join our weekly online happiness group for the youngsters and teenagers every Friday, 4 p.m. online. It is important to pray and it's fun praying together. Join us in our online dawn prayer meeting every Saturday, 5 in the morning. 
and let's build up our prayer life together. Ask your life group leaders for the link. We have our YouTube channel where we upload weekly in case you miss our Sunday service and other videos. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and share our videos. Also, visit our official Facebook account for updates and other announcements. This church is about celebrating Jesus and celebrating the life He gave us. Have a blessed birthday to everyone celebrating life this week. Happy birthday! If you find it more convenient to give your tithes and offering online, posted on the screen is our account numbers for BPI, GCash, and Paymaya. Happy giving! We are excited to inform everyone that we have started and are on the road to building our own church facility. Here are some pictures of the progress of the construction. We still have a long way to go, and if you find in your heart to help with the building, Here's our BPI account number, GCash, or PayMaya number flashed on screen. Thank, Thank you for watching, watching and God, God bless us all. all.
blessed day to everyone watching this video. I hope everyone is blessed and has learned something through God's yeah, word today. Amen. It is our prayer and desire that we all grow more in wisdom yeah, and in love amen. and also change as we listen to God's word. If you do have questions and clarifications, feel free to message us through our FB page and we will respond to you as promptly as we can. We believe that people need the Lord. So don't forget Amen. to share this video to your loved ones and your neighbors. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give that bell a tap for notifications and new videos. God, God bless, bless you and see you on our next video. video.